Hello, this is Peter from RetroKernel. Today, I'll tell you about these two accessories for C64, one of them also for other machines from the Commodore family. Both of them are file loaders from SD cards. However, there are very big differences between them. Okay, so, meet today's stars of the program. The first one is Tapuino Reloaded here, in version 0.44, and the second one is Tape Cart, which you could already see on my channel in the movie about Wix64. We'll start with Tape Cart. I'll just connect the device to my computer and we'll get started. Okay, Tape Cart is already plugged into the tape recorder connector on our computer, which is completely invisible from the front of the computer, but we can look behind it. This is what it looks like on the back of the computer. The diode indicates that the device is properly powered from the tape recorder port. Tape cart, unlike Tapuino, is operated from the browser level. We no longer need to have contact with the device itself. The browser, which we must have installed on our SD card, apart from the games and programs themselves, we start just like loading from tape, by pressing the Commodore key and run, stop. Starting the browser takes about as long as loading the program header from the tape. Four, five seconds. The browser, like any file browser, is used to navigate through directories and select the file you want to load. Here, we must mention another difference between TapeCart and Tapuino. TapeCart does not support tap files, as its name might suggest. We can use it to load games and programs saved in PRG format and TCRT format, but I will talk about this format later. So I cannot load the Battle Kingdom game in tap format, but I can load it in the PRG version. And that's it, the game starts after a while. Without a doubt, the advantage of tape cart is the speed at which it loads programs. This is another feature that distinguishes it from Tapuino. Although, to be honest with you, Tapuino, for me, has more of a retro spirit, but more on that in a moment. Now let's go back to TCRT files. First, let's load the file browser again and find our TCRT file. And what are these files? In simple terms, a library of games and programs. You can download TCRT files prepared by other users from the internet, or you can also create such a file yourself, placing all your favorite games or programs in it. With a size limit of the entire file, maximum two megabytes. Okay, that's all about tape cart. As you could see, it's a very easy to use accessory for loading files. Now let's connect the second device to the computer. Tapuino Reloaded. The first difference is immediately visible. You don't have to look behind the computer. Of course, it's not without reason. Unlike tape cart, Tapuino requires operation from the device itself. Here we don't have a browser, but we have a small display. This is also the reason why we can use Tapuino without any problems not only with Commodore 64, but also with other computers from the family. C128, C16, Vic, and Commodore PET. Now, let's see how it works. After turning on the computer, Tapuino automatically starts in playback mode. Now I will only mention that in addition to the playback mode, we also have a recording mode available, but more on that later. For now, let's focus on loading files. Using the next and previous buttons, we move through the directory structure on our micro SD card. I will look for our file with the game Battle Kingdom in the tap version, which tape cart could not load. Okay, the game file found. Let's go back to the computer keyboard. Now we need to start loading the file from our tape recorder emulator. Just like with a real tape recorder, Commodore and the run stop key. Then, according to the computer's instructions, we need to press play in our player. In this case, it is the select button on Tapuino. This way, we start loading our tap file. Do you already know why I said that Tapuino has more of a retro spirit? It works exactly the same as a real tape recorder. Loading the file is identical, I must add, identically slow, with the difference that we do not have to worry about an error loading from tape. Tape cart is undoubtedly faster. It loads files almost immediately, but PRG files are not the same as files with the recorded contents of the tape. We can follow the file loading progress on the Tapuino display, a bit like a tape counter in a tape recorder. For me, using Tapuino gives me an incredible sense of nostalgia. 
the same feeling I get when I load games from a real tape. As I said, the process of loading a tap file is the same as loading a game from a real tape, so if the programmers have prepared a loader with music, we can appreciate it and make the waiting time more pleasant. Tapuino also has a small speaker built in, which plays the sound of data being loaded. Typical 8-bit buzzing. Pure nostalgia. Do you remember how I said that in addition to playback mode, Tapuino also has a recording mode? This function will allow you, if you still have a tape recorder for Commodore, to connect it to Tapuino, hence the tape recorder connector on the side, and archive your original, or maybe less original, game tapes. But what is more interesting, it will also allow you to record game tapes. I really liked this option, especially since new C64 games are constantly being published and some of them are released in the tap version. Although maybe this option is only interesting for retro freaks like me. Anyway, I will talk about recording tapes in a separate video. In this video, that is all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and see you next time.